Have you seen the clip of billionaire Mark Cuban on The Daily Show with Trevor Noah where he talks about his new prescription drug company? I'll put a link to it in the description box below this video. Cuban is so passionate about the project's mission that he doesn't care if he loses money. He can't be bought out by another company that will cut corners in order to make a bigger profit. There is no financial compensation that could make him compromise his values when it comes to providing much more affordable prescription drugs. Well, I'm not a billionaire, but I can't be bought either. And there's a version of this that all professional writers can adopt. What's the writer version of I can't be bought? It is, I don't waste time on clients who aren't a match for my services. Once you've developed writing skills that get results for your clients, you can't be bought, meaning that you won't waste time working with unreasonable people who don't value what you do, whether that's through how they treat you or how much or how little they pay you or both. Before we get to the end of this episode, can you do me a favor? If you like this topic, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want even more free content from me, here's a quick message about how you can get it. Hey there, I'm Stephanie Glaxman. I've been a writer and editor for 20 years, and I have more than 200 videos on YouTube that help you live and work like a writer. That is a lot of videos, so let me curate my best advice for you. You can sign up for free exclusive updates at stephanieflaxman.com. I'll send you my top tips for new writers plus other advice that works best in email rather than audio or video. It would be my pleasure to meet you at your inbox as your new writer consultant. Ready to join the club? Go to stephanieflaxman.com to sign up for free. And remember, I spell Stephanie with an F, not a PH. The proper spelling is on your screen right now. That is stephanieflaxman.com. I'll see you there. If your writing work is frustrating, you don't have to keep doing the same thing. You can choose to spend time appeasing disrespectful clients, or you can choose to spend time finding better clients. This is up to you. Marketing your writing services might include gaining a new subject matter expertise, improving your writing portfolio, or prospecting clients you'd love to work with. You can also work on recognizing when clients aren't going to be a good match for you before you start working with them. Simply observe their communication skills when discussing a potential project. Are they gracious or entitled, specific or vague, goal-oriented or overly complicated? Most importantly, have self-respect. When you learn to recognize and honor the qualities you do want in a client, you have the power to not be bought. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below the video and then go save the internet. That is it for today. If you'd like to get exclusive tips that I only share in email, go on over to stephanieflaxman.com and sign up for free. I will see you there and talk with you soon.